Now, I think one of the good signs of just knowing that a a coxswain is a good coxswain if I can listen to the recording and it sounds good. Now, just because they have a good recording doesn't have to necessarily mean that they're a good coxswain, but if you got a bad recording, chances are you're a bad cop. So, whenever I work with any of my clients, one of the very first things I do is I try to get recordings that sound good. So I'm going to give you, so Laura Simon, I don't know if any of you guys know her name, but she also works with us at Sparks. She's also the coxswain coach for the junior national team. She was on the U.S. team a while ago herself, and then she now coaches the coxswains on the U.S. team. And she gave me some basic, very simple and specific things that she listens to when people send her recordings. So she basically handpicked all the top junior coxswains in the country for the last, you know, six years now, I guess. I don't know. So what the interesting thing is that what she's looking for is not so much what she's looking for, it's what she doesn't want to hear or what she doesn't want. Now, so what she likes to call them sort of red flags. So I'll tell you how, I'll tell you what she does. She sits there and she will get, she wants a six lane race and she will put out six different colored markers. Red, yellow, orange, green, whatever. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. And she will listen. She'll start on the recording. The very first thing, if she hears screaming in the first 30 seconds, she immediately stops and they're done. If there's any screaming, they're out. Now, if there's no screaming, what she likes to hear, she wants to hear a few things. She needs to hear distance, Rate and margin every 250 meters, or at least about every 250 meters. If a coxswain says 250 in, we're 36 strokes a minute, first place. 750 meters in, 34 strokes a minute, sitting on second. However you want, rate, distance, margin, every 250. And then number three, and then what she what she does is every 250 she moves the pens. And what happens is at the end of the race, she needs to be able to look at the pens in front of her and know which lane is every vote, like where they all where they all finished. If she doesn't know from listening to the recording where all the votes finished, it's not good enough. But if you do rate distance and margin every 250, it's normally good enough. She says this. She tells people this. Anyone that asks her, she tells her this. She will tell them that. And we have had, and she lets me listen to these recordings as well. She sends them to me to sort of like, we, we'll, we'll talk about them. Maybe six coxswains in the last six years have submitted, <coughs> even submitted recordings that meet that bare minimum. If you want to go to the junior national team, you do that bare minimum, and you'll get invited. <coughs> Seriously, no screaming, great distance and margins every 250. And you will, you will get, they will be interested in talking to you. Because coxswains don't do that. That's it. That's all you need to have a good recording. Done. Is it that simple? No. Obviously not. But that's, that's where I want you to start. That's where I want you to base that. You don't need to add anything more. A lot of the other stuff that we add sometimes can take away from it.